Hi, today's video is all about the COVID-19 test. I received an email a couple of three days ago and also a physical letter saying I've been selected to be taking part in a research test from Imperial College London and the NHS to be tested for the coronavirus, see if I've, I've got it. Um, so they sent me a little code and I put it in a website, it came up with my name and I just had to confirm my address and they sent the kit. So the kit has arrived and this is what they sent me. I've got a letter. The COVID-19 research study, and it says how to take part. Number one, administer the test as soon as possible. Read the instructions carefully. Uh, go to a study website, give my feedback. Uh, what else have they sent me? Um, instructions, this is how I need to do the test. Uh, go for that in a moment. What to do if the test is positive, stay at home and uh, isolate yourself. And there's a little chart that explains what to do if you're with people. Those are my codes, um, I'm going to show those because I've got my own numbers on them. Um, and a little box says biological substance category B, which sounds very scientific. All sorts of numbers on there. But let's start with the instructions. Um, and the first thing that I note is uh, this says administer this test as soon as possible. If you're the kind of person that doesn't RTFM, then what you don't want to do is immediately start opening this box because I note when you actually look at the instructions, the first thing you need to do is book a courier for the collection of the kit. So in other words, what you've got to do is go online or ring this phone number and make sure that the courier is coming. So I did this yesterday. I know the courier is coming today. The reason why you've got to do that is because your test has got to be fresh. They sent me an email back and they said, make sure that you do the, two, the test two hours, up to two hours before um, somebody will collect. Now today they said they're going to collect between 9 a.m. and 8 p.m., which is quite a wide window, but they did say to take the test between 7, 8 a.m. this morning, something like that. But there's instructions. One, administer the test as soon as possible. To me, I just said number one on there should be book your collection because people don't read this stuff, right? Anyway, are you ready to take the test? Have you booked your courier collection? Uh, is it due? Yes. Prepare the sample. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds with soap and water. I've just done that. I've just basically, basically just got out of the shower, so I'm pretty clean. Uh, clean and dry a surface to protect the home kit on. Yeah, um, clean, dry. Check your kit contains these items. A, instruction booklet. B, sheet of labels, seen it. C, one swab inside a sealed container. Um, okay, well, we'll open this up and have a look and see what's inside, shall we? Okay, what have we got in here? Uh, we have... A swab, a um, vial with some kind of pink liquid in it, a bag with some kind of material, another bag. I guess I'll put everything in that at the end of this. I can confirm I've got everything on my list here. First thing to do is peel off one of the barcodes and stick it along the length of the plastic vial. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Use a mirror to look inside your mouth and find your tonsils. This is where you will swab. You're going to have to get this swab really right at the very back of your mouth. I'm pretty lucky. I don't tend to gag. I'm hoping I'll be all right with this, but I've heard some people that can make them uh, want to be ill. So I haven't got tissue. Uh, number six, gently blow your nose and cough into a tissue. Throw the tissue in a bin. In the bin it goes. I guess I just want to make sure your nose is clean before you stick this swab bit. Open the swab package and take out the swab. The same swab will be used on your throat and mouth. Take care not to touch the soft end of the swab with anything apart from your tonsils and nose. Okay. Holding the swab in your hand, open your mouth and gently rub the swab over your tonsils and back of throat for 10 seconds. Using a mirror may help you do this. I have got a mirror. Remove the swab from the back of your throat. This may get uncomfortable and may feel like gagging, but it should not hurt. Take care not to touch your tongue, teeth or gum or any household surfaces with the swab. So this swab has only got to touch my tonsils and back of throat. Then nasal swab. Put the same end of the same swab gently into one of your nostrils about one inch. Okay, the little picture on here of somebody putting it up their nose there. Or until you feel some resistance, rotate the swab for 10 to 15 seconds and slowly remove it. This may feel uncomfortable. Do not insert the swab any deeper if you feel strong resistance or pain. 
Not looking forward to that one. Place the swab into the plastic vial F with the fabric tip facing down. F is a biohazard bag with a silver, f silver seal. D is a plastic vial containing some small liquid. So that's confusing. It does say plastic vial, so I'm going to assume it means stick it in D, the plastic vial. Then wash your hands. It then says place the plastic vial and the sheet of absorbent material G. Uh, G is a jiffy bag, absorbent material is E. Oh dear, UK government, what are you doing? All right, so that's the end with the swab on, so I'm gonna open it at this end. I'm gonna, in preparation, just loosen that so I can undo it easily. I hope I don't knock it over or anything crazy. So here goes. Look in the mirror, find your tonsils, swab 10 seconds. Rub it over the back of your throat for 10 seconds. Not the best video I've made. There you go. Share the experience. You know, it's all about the gag reflex. It's pretty horrible. Uh, all for science. All right, was that 10 seconds? I think that was about 10 seconds. But I haven't touched my tongue or anything else. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, then, uh, shoving it up your nose. One inch, two and a half centimeters. Uh, that feels weird. Is that enough? Uh, tickles. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we'll stick that in here, and I've got to snap this off so it fits in here. What they should have said is use some scissors. So I recommend you have a knife to open this, or a pair of scissors just to cut that off. I need to put my label on. Lengthways, of course, otherwise it would wrap around on itself. To so take this into the biohazard bag, all right, so let's put this with that in there. Take this silver seal off. It says on here, expel the air from the bag, peel off. So let's just do that. There we go, sealed. All right, so if you have a barcode, stick it on the outside of the, this. Put the sealed bag in the jiffy bag. And that's going to Birmingham. Birmingham Heartlands Hospital. The courier will knock on the door and then move at least two metres away. Uh, they will have moved away, open the door, place the package test outside, close the door. Here's the courier arriving. He's got a mask on, gloves and his little contamination box. I'll just lob it in and away he goes. Thanks very much. Complete the online questionnaire. So it's important for us to know whether or not you have currently any symptoms of COVID-9 or had any symptoms in the past. I haven't, I can't say I have. Um, you know, they say some people have had it and they don't know, but I don't really don't think that's me. Uh, we would like to know if your experience of completing the test, whether you managed it or not. I think I managed it. So what happens next? You will receive your test result two to three days after your home sample test is collected. The results will be delivered as a text message to the mobile or email address you provided. I gave both. Well, however, due to the volume of tests occurring, it may take longer. Yeah, okay. So there we go, job done. Um, it'd be really, really helpful if you could like or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to hear how maybe the results go, uh, I will do another video uh, just to very quickly explain um, what they sent back to me. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. See ya.